Hi guys, welcome to Hit The Green TMD in O-Gage. Um, my last video I published was the working lights on my Class 60 and I received numerous comments on how they were wrong. Well, this little video is going to be an educational video on what settings are what for headlights on locomotives with YPAC style headlight clusters. The history behind headlights is for people to see the train and not for the driver to see where he's going. The driver has route knowledge, he knows where he is, he knows the hills, he knows the speed limits and he knows even in fog where he is. That's the theory. Um, but people on the track can't necessarily see the train clearly and train, more modern trains are quieter than older trains. So. There was a few incidents um, where, unfortunately, people working on the track were killed by approaching trains. So it was deemed a requirement that headlights be fitted. And that is for this purpose only, is for people to see the train. So there are various settings for the headlights depending on when and where you are running. Okay, the first position we have here is as I have them on my layout, is just the two marker lights illuminated. This position is used in yards and sidings. It's not a mainline running layout. This is my depot. So if you have a depot and yard layout, this is the position you want your light set to on the class 60. This is because you have people walking around the yard, the loco is at low speed and it is just highlighting the front of the locomotive to the shunters and ground staff and things like that walking around the siding so they can see you. It's not dazzling to people in close proximity. That position with the headlight on this side the marker light on this side. That is the night time position for running on the main line only. The light is on this side because normally the trains pass on a two track in this direction and the headlight on this side at night would be more dazzling to the oncoming train when they get closer. So the headlight is switched to the side farthest from the normal passage of trains in the opposite direction. And this is the daytime position for running with running lights. So you have the headlight on this side, which makes it visible further, on curves on average for people working on the track, and the near side marker light. It is less of an issue for trains coming the other way, even though the headlight is closer, because of all the ambient light makes it less glary and doesn't affect your night vision. So that is the positions of the headlights. And that is why, on my last video, the headlights are on in this configuration. Just the two marker lights. My layout is a depot, and there's a depot just marker lights, no headlights, and that goes with any locomotive, no headlights on in the yard. I hope that's been useful. These are gen general rules. There may be local instructions at a specific location which require a deviation from that, but generally on VR depots and yard sidings, that is the configuration of YPAC headlights. Stay safe, happy modelling, see you later.